What's up? It's Hub Cabin here with I Love Well and Worldwide. Got some special guests here today. Yeah, I'm Jose Lessa. I'm the operations manager with uh, Maverick Welder and Materials Testing. We're a division of RCI Energy Group. I'm Willie Rivera, one of the inspectors in the shop there at Maverick as well. We're here today to tell you the do's and don'ts of weld testing. So yeah, uh, a lot of you guys just getting out of school or just learning how to weld, uh, y'all gonna be calling these contractors and these contractors gonna send y'all to testing labs like Mavic right here. Uh, I'm gonna let these guys explain to y'all what y'all gonna need to bring, what y'all need to expect, and what it takes to pass a weld test. Yeah, so a lot of these guys, uh, before they go out on a project or before they get hired on uh, with a company, um, their abilities are gonna be tested, right? So, you know, they've gone to school, they've They've, uh, you know, they've done their 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 practices at home or uh, or done it at school, and now they're about to go out into the industry. These companies are gonna want to test their ability, yeah. right? Uh, and that's where Maverick comes in. Um, you know, we get you know hundreds of guys per year that'll come through that'll test for different companies. Um, and a lot of times, these newer guys that are coming out, they, they really don't know much about a testing yeah. facility. They they just know they want to weld. It's their they first real test. Money. Yeah, yeah so. exactly. So. Uh, I think it's it's good for them to kind of get a, a good idea and a good feel for what what they're going to go through when they when they come to the testing facility. So uh, you go get hired on. This company says they, they want to hire you. They want to bring you on this project or they want to bring you into their facility. They're going to send you to a company like ours over at Maverick. Uh, and when they get there, they won't see Willie. Uh, Willie is uh, our, like he said already, is our testing facility. He's been doing it for many years. Well known in the industry. Uh, pretty fair dude. Pretty honest, I think. Okay. Um, but uh, Willie, why don't you kind of tell them, you know, somebody who's coming to Maverick, they're there, they've been sent by their company, now they're at our facility that morning, uh, you know, kind of give them some, a run through as to, uh, you know, what they can expect and what they should bring or, or you know, how's their day going to go? Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, well, one of the first steps is, uh, you know, you'll get signed in through the, um, through the office there. Um, we'll get your information, verify who you are. Uh, let you know what equipment you're going to need. Um, you can bring in all your regular tools. You got your special stinger you like to use because it's your lucky yeah, you stinger. You yeah. can you take that. You don't take rig. Although we have everything. Uh, the only thing you really need to go with is your your hood and your gloves and your ability. You know. And um, from there, we get you signed in. We'll explain what the test is going to be, what we expect, or what the acceptance criteria is going to yeah. be for the weld. Uh, what we look for visually and mechanically. We'll set you up in a booth, explain how the machine works, uh, where your amperage is at, you know, your up and down, uh, where your gas flow, you're gonna be running argon. Uh, we'll explain everything to you and um, there, there won't be no surprises. Um, we'll, ex we'll first run a, a root pass. We'll allow you to run a bead in there. Uh, after you get your root pass, uh, we'll give you an option to either do a repair, which you you got about 10, 15 minutes to do that if you need, and then you'll hot pass it. After you run a hot pass, it is what it is, so, and yeah. it's either, you know, it's acceptable or it's not acceptable. So I, I, that's one thing I don't know. So y'all, so say if I go and weld test and I make a mess up on my route, y'all will give me an actual chance to fix it. Yeah, we would, but here's the kicker. Uh, a lot of times when a guy's gonna go in there and do repairs, he wants to put a file on the inside or put uh, a pencil yeah. grinder in there and try to take something, which is no internal repairs. If okay. you're going to fix something, it's going to have to be from the outside of the pipe. Right? Okay, so say, yeah, yeah. So say if I got a lump at the bottom, I could suck it back yeah, up. Yeah, you can do what you can do yeah, to make okay. that happen. Okay, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, if you don't say that, then you're liable to have a guy in there putting a file or putting a pencil. Yeah. Well, you didn't say. Yeah, yeah, but that's good okay, to know. Because, okay, you got me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? That's good to know, though. But yeah, because uh, a lot of times, um, and we see that over and over, they do that. They have no idea they did it wrong. Yeah. That you weren't allowed to do that. And that's one of the, the first don'ts. Yeah. You, you definitely don't want to, You can't say, I forgot. I, I, I didn't know. I didn't understand because that's going to cause a rejection. Yep. And uh, it's, it also uh, it upsets inspectors when you do that because they expect for you to know that. Um, say you get by visually on the root pass. Everything looks great. It meets code. You got the hot pass in there. It looks good. Then we'll go ahead and proceed to fill and cap it. Okay. Uh, we'll let you go all the way out 
the cap it off. We'll let you know what we expect on the cap. You know, no reinforcement over an eighth of an inch yeah. typically is, is um, what's standard. Um, once you're capped off, we'll take a look at it and uh, we're looking for consistency, uniformity, no undercut, yeah. definitely no arcing outside the pipe. Yeah. Uh, a lot of guys tend to get a little wild with the grinder. They're grinding on their bead and it slips out and goes up and down all over the pipe. Well, now when we look at the pipe and you say you got the slickest cap on there, now we're not even looking at the weld no more. We're looking yeah, at like the damage you did the outside pipe. the weld area. Yeah. So that can be a cause for rejection. So uh, you got to take care of your weld area, which is in that groove. Yeah. And anything outside that bevel, you don't mess with. You yeah. Know, your work is in that groove and you need to have a steady hand and control yep. and that's you know whether with whether with the rod it sticks and they want to break it off and you drag it across that pipe oh, come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah that's just as bad so so visually once everything's acceptable um from the root all the way to the cap everything looks good we're going to issue it a lab number which every welder that comes in is going to have a special lab number to identify their weld their welds whether one two or three if you're doing multiple tests because it could probably also be more than one yeah. uh, after it's accepted we mark it up we'll take it to the machine shop it gets transferred uh lab number as well um, and whether we're doing root bins side bins you know it's all going to depend on what kind of test you're doing um we'll prep it up just like the code says and um machined everything um once it's completed and, and, and prepped up, we'll take it into, inside to a lab where we're going to do the destructive testings. Um, we'll fold it a little. Hopefully they don't break, but we'll do bends on them, right? Yeah. Um, and, you know, we're some kind of uh, acceptance criteria depending on what we're, what we're testing to. There's some allowance in there. But really, ultimately, you're looking for a clean weld all, yeah, the, all way the way through. through. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. want to pretend like you got to do an x-ray every yeah. weld. Take you know? your time and make sure everything's right, every right. pass. Yeah, you yeah. can't, don't get slacked on it, don't get lax yeah. on it, you know. Always trying to make your last weld look better than the one before. Yeah. If you keep that mentality, you're, you're just going to progress. And, and, and to keep it in mind too, this, your, your job depends on it, you know. This your job is, depends on it. You don't get no money, you can support your family or whatever you want to do. This You got to treat this well like, you know, it's everything. So take your time, don't rush. If you need to take a break, take breaks, because sometimes it's going to be hot. So. And yeah. that's, yeah, and that's true. Um, you know, there's no other industry out there or no profession yeah. that uh, uh, a person has to constantly prove themselves like a welder. A yeah. welder is, uh, you're only as good as your last welder. Yeah. Day you know, in, day out. I'm certified, you know, I'm good for three years. You pay a certain amount of money, you inspect her again. Um, you go take a test after so long, you know, a plumber, electrician, Pipe fitter is good for so long. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A right. welder. Welders every Welders yeah. testing all the time. Every so day. So you got to stay on top of your game, yes. right? Yep. You know Even I mean? when you're on the job, every weld is, could be your last weld. So yeah, you got to so. make sure you take take the pride in your work and, and take your time on every weld. Man, you ain't got to rush. It's because people, you got to have people on job sites that's more pressure you because you might be welding slower than them or something. But don't don't let that get to you, man. You got to take your time. Make sure your weld's good. Don't worry about nobody else. Well, that's right. That's right. So yeah, that, that's a very key point, you know, that you want to make that yeah. always, always taking pride in your work. Yeah, right? yeah. And, and Willie's touched on everything we got to do or what they have to do when they come in, the whole process and going, but a lot of it has to do with what they do prior to getting there, yeah. right? So, uh, you know, you get these guys that, you know, like drinking these energy drinks and all that. Doesn't, doesn't or alcohol that. the night before. Alcohol something. the night yeah. before, they want to stay up late. I get it, the nerves are kicking and maybe don't let them go to sleep the night <laughs> before, but that's okay. But the, and like y'all said, your last weld is, is that's your weld, right? Yeah. That's your name on it. So when you're gonna come in and you're gonna test, you wanna make sure you come prepared. Get your rest, eat right, go drink. You know, that morning you drink a little coffee or whatever, but know your limits, don't come in here yeah. too wired up. Well, you're shaking. Um, yeah, we've yeah. seen it. You know, we've had guys fall out because they drank too much coffee coming in from Oklahoma to test. And, you know, I've had other guys that have failed because they had, you know, one too many energy drinks before they got to Maverick. You know, now their hands are, you know, out of control. And yeah, shaking can't failed. control yeah. it, yeah. So, uh, you know, you want to come in prepared for that, you know. Um, you're going to be nervous when you get there, you know, and that's understandable, especially, I mean, no I doubt, think some of yeah. these veterans will come in maybe a little nervous sometimes. Even the veterans, yeah. I mean, yeah. your job's on the line, like I said. Yeah, man, exactly. So. so, you know, you're going to be nervous, and that's okay. That's understandable, you know, but uh, I think once you meet, you know, especially the guys at Maverick, 
you know, they'll walk you through it. They'll yeah. walk you into the booth. You'll see that everything's there you need, the lighting, all the, you know, whatever. Well, they try to make it most process. comfortable. Yeah, yeah comfortable exactly. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, you definitely want to come in prepared for that. You know, um, we talk about heat, you know, make sure you come in hydrated. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially if it's in the summertime, because, uh, you know, we got air movement, we got fans, we got all that, but are we going to do so much? You know, yeah, you know the leather, yeah, hot. exactly. Down here in Houston, we got all that humidity. <laughs> yeah, so, it gets hot. You know, so. uh, definitely come in hydrated, stay hydrated, take your breaks as needed. Nobody's rushing. I mean, some of these are times, but that's fine. Uh, you know, if, if you get under the gun, you start getting uh, heat exhaustion or whatever, now you're not thinking right, maybe yeah. you're, your, eye, yeah, yeah. your eye-hand coordination ain't quite there, so you just want to make sure you come in prepared for that as well. Because all that plays into it, and it's going to play into it when you get out in the field. Yeah, right? same thing. Yeah, it's going to be hot out there too. So. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, no, you bring up a real good subject on that because uh, that right there, uh, not being prepared for the day that you got to come in and take a test, yeah, and, and you good. didn't get your rest, and you did the drinking or the energy drinks yeah that's going to play a big factor we see it happen all the time you know we, we know good welders that come through and they just have an off day for yeah whatever they may have been up to you know um but yeah you know uh, on another note with with almost the same thing there is you were talking about making the guys feel comfortable when a guy comes in the lab i mean it's their lab you know what i mean yeah, that's the way that's the that's yeah. the way we do it man we we set you in the booth hey this is, is there you can use anything we got around here you know just clean up put everything back um so we try to make you feel as comfortable as possible we're not there to say bust the welder out so yeah. we can say man i busted for today and feel yeah. proud about it that's not what we're there for matter of fact what we do is if we see that you might be off in a little direction there say hey man why don't you turn it up five yeah, and see yeah. what that does and, um, and, and, yeah. and you'd be surprised with just a little help like yeah, that. That's all it takes. Points them right, yep. Puts them in the right direction, you know. Um, and that right there, uh, I think that kind of puts, and it's talking about all our guys because everybody's the same, same way. Yeah. They, they'd rather give you a hand yeah. than to see you, hey, man, bust well, out. Well, as a welder testing, and as, as one of y'all come and you know, tell me something like that, so relieve a lot of pressure off of me testing yeah. because I'm in there as a welder thinking, man, they're going to bust me out and y'all, you know, come and help me out. That's you know that, that helps out i'm pretty sure yeah, especially for them up and coming well. yeah man yeah no yeah. doubt yeah because we're not there to you know say bust out people yeah. but we're there to make sure we get qualified welders right yep. so if we can just a little word of yeah. advice you're doing the work you yeah. turned it up you did this that and made it work man that's that, hey yeah, that can go a long way yeah man. it goes a yeah, long no ways doubt. and some of your best welders will come out like that because they listen yeah you know there's some that just stuck in their head, man. Yeah. Don't tell me how to do I got this. Yeah, I got right? this. Then, yeah. <laughs> okay, know, man. Okay. I got you. <laughs> hey, I, hey, I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah. But um, but yeah, I, I, I would hope that everybody would see that, you know, and and, and you know, I I extend a, 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 an open door to anybody, you know. You get questions. a group of guys that y'all wanted to come down and see our facility, and just take a little walk through, just to kind of get the jitters and the nerves out, just to see how it's all laid out and who the people are there. Yeah, yeah man, the door is open. And it's funny when you bring that up because uh, we do have guys that will come in. Um, and sometimes they, they're not there to test. They're they not, they're not hired. Out. They just want to, and they also want to practice. Yeah. Okay. You know, they, they know they got a test coming, coming up, but they up. know there's okay. a project that they're going to go after. They know it's, uh, you know, uh, using a certain uh, uh, filler. To they know the test pretty much. So yeah, they come they'll come in. Uh, we have coupons. You know, they'll buy the coupons from it. We'll set them up in a booth. Uh, my guys are there also to, to, to give them pointers. Hey, yeah, yeah. Man, I think that would pass. Or hey, you know what? You got to look at this right yeah, here. You know, something. This, so this. you know, if they want to practice. They, they they get that option also. Oh, yeah. man, they should always take advantage of that. Yeah, that's cool. Lab that's in their a cool area. Advantage. They give yeah. them that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, that's good um, enough. And the other thing that we need to talk about is is uh, the other side of that coin. That you know, they come in, they test. They you know maybe they pass. That's great. They're off to work. You know, they're going down to West Texas or wherever it is. They're going to go work. But sometimes they're not going to pass. Yeah. Right. And that's the other side of the coin that we got to talk about. Yeah, right? true, true. Yeah. Um, you know, like we said, we've had some veteran welders that come through and sometimes it's just not having a good yep. day happens, and, and they get looked out, right? Yep. And, and there's a criteria. It's not up to just Willie whether he feels like on that day yeah. he's not going to accept this, that, or another. Uh, there's criteria, right? We got we got standards, we got codes, we got the client specifications that, that say yep. requirements and whatever they want. So, it, and if you don't fail, um, you know, maybe ask. You know, hey, well, what what did I do wrong, right? Yeah. Once it's all said and done, and, and okay, man, you didn't pass, you're getting looked out. You know, I've seen it plenty of times where they'll, they'll come and ask, you know, Willie or some of the other inspectors we got, and yeah, what, what was wrong? You know, what did I do, yeah. right? And they got no problem. It's not a school. 
but we got no problem giving them some tips. You know, I mean, these guys been in the industry for a long time. Uh, maybe explain, you know, well, if you try this or try that, or maybe yeah. you might want to back off of this or that or whatever, you know, but just understand that uh, I don't think there's any lab out there. Maybe I'm not, shouldn't speak for all of them, but I don't think any of them out there are in the business of busting people out. Yeah, they don't want to. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so that's not the case. But if and when that does happen, just, you know, accept it for what it is. Yeah. Uh, ask your questions. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, why did I bust out? Or, exactly. Because you, know, you might think, man, I, I think this world is it's perfect. good. Yeah, you know, yeah. That's fine. But I'm sure that inspector will point out exactly where, where why he busted exactly, you out. Well, why, yes, why yes. it's not going to pass, you know? Yeah, and just, yeah. and just listen to what they say, man. If you bust, man, it's not the end of the world. Definitely not. That's not the only contractor out there that's going to give yeah. you a job, man. Just go get you another job and go do it again. That's but right. next time, uh, uh, learn from what you, the mistake you made the last time you busted and, and don't do it this time, man. You should be good, man. But it happens in the world where you're going to bust tests, man. It, it, even to veterans, like they said, I, I might go in there one day. I might have been partying all night, man, and I drop a big old boogie in there, man. I'll bust out. So I mean, it happens. So. When was the last time you tested? Okay, <laughs> uh, that's been a minute, man. Uh, I've been working with the same company for a while, but uh, I, I haven't had a test. So I don't know, man. What do you think? Should we invite him over to Maverick have a test? Yeah, I don't see why not. I mean, we got a booth or two for sure, you. Oh, boy, they're trying to bust me out <laughs> over here, man. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, that sounds like a good idea, man. We might have to look into that, man. Because yeah, you're a veteran test. and you haven't yeah. tested in a while, so it's kind of yeah. the best of both yeah. worlds. I can you show y'all, I mean? yeah, my day of going testing that map. Yeah. And uh, from the sign in all the way down to the mechanicals. Yeah, yeah let, let this guy uh, let this guy look me out, man. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so man, what, uh, where can I find y'all? What like information about where y'all located, or, or if I gotta come take a test, I wanna come look at your facility. Uh, where, where can I find out information? Yeah, man, we're located in Pasadena, Texas. Um, we're at fifty-two eighteen Spencer Highway, uh, just right off of Bellway, okay. Spencer. Um, we're on Facebook, uh, Maverick Welder and Materials Testing. Uh, we'll be having an Instagram here pretty soon as well. That's coming, yeah, and. Uh, yeah, if you got any needs, any of these, uh, these gentlemen want to come down, maybe they want to come practice, they want to come visit, we welcome everybody. We have open doors. Come through if you're a new welder, you're an experienced welder, or or, or you test welders, or you need welders, everybody's invited to come okay. and take a tour of the facility. We would be more than happy to have them come down. Or if you just need a practice, like I said, we, we, you're going to have a test. You know, most single hand welders don't have access to welding machines. Yeah. If yeah. you need to come by our shop and, right. and, and take a little practice, you know, and touch up, man, you're more than welcome yeah, to come by. It's one thing too, if you're you practicing know? on a table at your uncle's yeah, house yeah. or at the school. But actually it's doing it to go at the test in the actual facility. Booth, yeah, so in the actual the, facility. So you're comfortable, yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. if you go practice, yeah. you know, day before you got to test the next day, man, that's that's a huge plus. Just try to yeah. get those jitters yeah. out. Yeah, man, that's a that's that's a cool thing, man. I'm glad y'all do that. Yeah, for sure, cool. All right, man, it was nice having y'all on the show today, man. I appreciate it. Uh, make sure y'all like, subscribe, comment, and make sure y'all head over to outlawworldwide.com and cat, uh, copy out some merch, man, some hats, man, they're real slick, man, and comment, man. Make sure y'all repost and share, too, man. Help us help us get the show out there. Man. We got a lot of good content coming up, man. Ciao, bro.